This is how I took notes for 20 years. This is how most people write their notes. It's monotonous, it's shabby, and it's all over the place. But it all changed for the good after I decided to go digital with my note taking. This is how I now take my notes. Assalamu alaikum everyone. In this video, I'll be teaching you how to create notes like this and teach the way you learn. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I am Omar Muhammad, a five year MBBS student at Government Medical College, Calicut. So let's begin. Okay, so why should you take digital notes? Firstly, digital note taking is way more fun and fancier than the traditional note taking methods. This makes the whole boring process of taking notes really more fun and helps you learn better. Secondly, you don't have to depend on large volume of books and countless pens anymore. With an iPad or a tablet like this, you can access any notes at any time, anywhere you want. Digital note taking allows for seamless organization and searchability. With just a few taps, you can categorize, tag, and instantly search through your notes, saving you precious time. And let's not forget the part of flexibility. Digital note taking lets you easily highlight, underline, and annotate your notes without worrying about running out of space or making a mess. Plus, the ability to sync your notes across devices ensures you always have your information right at your fingertips. So having said that, let's now deep into the two systems of note taking which we'll be covering in this video. The three obvious prerequisites you require for digital note taking are First one is a tablet, for which I use a second generation iPad Pro 11 inch with 128 GB storage. And secondly, we require a stylus for which I've been using the second generation Apple Pencil. The third one is a good app. There are plenty of apps out there in the market. I'll be soon making a video on the different apps which are suitable for note taking. So stay tuned, stay subscribed to this channel. Here in this video, I'll be covering the two common apps which I use regularly. That is OneNote and ColaNotes. Both of these apps are absolutely free and available on App Store. So there are two ways of taking down notes. You could either take handwritten notes using your stylus or you could take down text-based notes. The handwritten notes, they are basically the digital version of your traditional notebooks. So the beauty of these notes depend a lot upon your handwriting, the way you format these notes, the colors you can add and the way you add the different multiple fonts. And I usually go around with three or four colors to make it look more fancier. The headings have a color. Usually, usually the way I go around with these notes is the headings have a color, the subheadings have their own separate color and the default text that we use for writing will be black in color. So when you start using the stylus, initially it will be a bit hard to write because the friction is obviously lesser than our usual pen. But as you practice and keep on writing, your handwriting will obviously start to improve. Additionally, you could use a special type of screen protector over your tablet or iPad which has more friction which is available in the market. I personally do not use it but it's really recommended. One of the disadvantages I found with such screen protectors is that over the long run the nib of the stylus starts to erode because of that increased friction so I personally do not use it but to get a better handwriting such types of screen protectors definitely helps. Now another great way to make your notes more fancier is by using the highlight feature through which you can mark the most important parts of your text. The second way of taking notes is by converting your handwritten words into text and this feature is actually going to be the game changer. Most apps nowadays have this feature called as the handwriting recognition which basically means that your handwritten words are automatically converted to text and this is how I create most of these notes. Now the great advantage with this recognition system is that no matter how poor your handwriting is with a stylus, you can convert it to any custom font which is similar to a standard handwriting. And this also gives you a sense of uniformity for your content. It also makes your content look much neater, much cleaner and much nicer. Here again, the application of headings, colors, highlighting and using the different font styles is crucial to make your notes look more fancier. One key thing which is absolutely essential when you're taking notes is adding images, drawing diagrams and the overall design. As you've noticed earlier, when it's just plain text, it starts to get extremely boring. One of the best parts about digital note taking is the ability to draw diagrams with ease and you know create boxes. So with just a click I can create a text box which is super easy. I can also add colors to this and make it more fancier. 
When it comes to drawing diagrams, I have this amazing hack. Many people have been asking me how I draw these diagrams. Do I draw these diagrams manually? Well, let me just review that hack. All I do is I take a Google image and then I paste it into my notes and then I simply trace around these diagrams. So that's how you can draw any diagram in a really cool way, in a much fancier way. You don't have to be an artist to be able to draw diagrams in your notes anymore. So for example, I have taken here the picture of a brain. I simply copy paste it. I could just trace the outline, add some colors to it. And that's it. That's super easy way to add diagrams to your digital notes. Finally, if you're studying in university or college, or if you're a medieval student like me, it's not just about the notes. You need to add lots of images, be it histopathological diagrams, or you need to add PDF straight. And this is also one another amazing thing with the digital notes. With the digital notes, you could just simply add any textbook, any text material. Either you could simply copy paste the text or take screenshots and add them to your notes, which is a super amazing way of linking the different materials which you have learned. And this I would say is probably the biggest advantage of taking digital notes because one of the biggest disadvantages I found with the traditional note taking methods is that it's very difficult to link different parts, different chapters and different concepts of a subject or within different subjects itself. But with the digital note taking method, that is fairly easy. If you want to link one concept or one idea or a chapter with another concept, all you have to do is either paste a link into your note or just add some screenshots of the concept which you need to link. So that's an amazing feature with the digital notes. And finally, the storage of these notes, it's way easier. So I store all my notes here in lectures by Omar folder. Some of the notes I also store in the iCloud. You could use a Google Drive, whichever is the best. You could use it according to your own convenience. The other great thing about this is I have my iPhone with me and the iPad Pro and my iPhone 14 Pro are linked. So anytime I want to access my notes in an iPad, I can access it from my iPhone and vice versa. That's a great advantage of being in the Apple ecosystem. The big question is, is this process really time consuming? To be honest, no. Initially, it might feel like a time consuming process, but once you get the hang of digital note taking, it really starts to get a lot faster. In fact, nowadays I take digital notes faster than the traditional notes. Considering the greater value which I get, I now prefer digital notes anytime over traditional note taking with a pen and paper. With the handwriting recognition feature available in most apps in the market, you can now create notes like these within the lectures itself. If you want to get access to these notes which I have created, you can check the link in the description below. If you like this video, do share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and see you soon in the next video.